Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm here with the Enchanted Spell Oracle today and we're doing the weekly Oracle card guidance. And we have three options. We have option one, which is a rose quartz, a raw rose quartz. And then we have a popper light here. And then we have another rose quartz, but this is a tumbled uh, rose quartz. Okay, so this is option one, two and three. Go ahead, make your selection and I'll, I'll begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the raw uh, rose quartz here, the first option, we're asking, what is the weekly oracle card guidance? What is the weekly oracle card guidance? And so we have the card innocence here. And there are a couple of um, words on this card. And it says here, pear, apple, poppy, daisy, rose and mint so there's a kind of indication of what herbs um, or flowers could be used uh, to help you this week and talks um, I think it refers to the energy or vibration of these particular flowers or plants and how they could be used to support you during this week so if you do come across apples or pears or puppies daisies roses and or mint um, be sure to hold on to it and um, spend a moment with it so the the essence of innocence comes up this week for you as you go through the week and you might have felt some of this energy already uh, in the last couple of days but there's a an innocence that comes to you a tenderness that comes to you it's almost like you can look back on things uh, not in terms of a uh, feeling of nostalgia but rather from a place of being more innocent of being more pure of being more um well i want to say unspoiled almost it's like you're you're looking at things from a different lens uh from a, a time when you could have been younger or you could have been uh less less cynical or uh, just uh, looking at things with purer lenses and i feel here that this week as you go along you you have the blessing of being able to to actually experience that and to to actually um have this this different perspective have a new in energy injected into your life and being able to use this energy to inform your your current decisions it brings about inspiration it brings about creativity it helps you to inform your your choices that you will make as you go along but most importantly what it does is that it helps you appreciate every single moment of your life so it's almost like having a child's uh, perspective on life and to be able to access that uh, lens and to be able to apply that to your current life and then you're able to see it for all its value it's like you can see it with more pixels almost uh, it has a richness to it that you wouldn't have been able to appreciate previously but it also has a lightness to it and with this lightness and with this um, richness that you experience, you're able to access your life in a far more different way than you have been. And so this energy here is very much an inward energy. It's very much concentrated on your inner perception, on your inner landscape. And has very little to do with what's going on around you, uh, what's happening in the in the outside uh, outside of you politically or you know, in terms of relationships to other people, etc. It's more a very, it's a very personal, very intimate experience that you have with yourself, where you're able to view things in a way that um, you have not been able to before, or you've, you've forgotten how to in a way. And so, and this brings you a lot more inspiration. It brings you a lot more food for thought and food for creativity. And you might find yourself wanting to uh, take yourself in a different direction as a result or you might feel inspired to try something different or to do something that you perhaps didn't think you were able to do previously you know if you thought that you were pretty um, lousy at doing a particular sport or a, have you know creating something maybe you'll find that this week with your different perspective with this uh, newly informed uh, creativity and energy that lies behind that you're going to find that you're able to tackle new endeavors and you have a different feeling for it and you might be able to find that you have quite a lot of joy at something that you might have previously dismissed 
there's a lot of fruitfulness that lies here. There's a lot of um, of prosperity that lies behind this. And it's almost as if you can create quite a lot from where you are right now, but not just to create. It's almost like there's a lot of support, a lot of abundance. It feels like springtime in this card for you because there's a, a chance for you to uh, ex experience everything new again and to be able to understand um, life from a slightly more fruitful perspective from a from a prosperity um, perspective from from having abundance and there's no lack or no sorrow or no um, hard anything hard here there's everything is light and easy and and free and and you're able to just explore inside your mind's eye and of course express that more easily than you might have been able to do previously I feel like there's also a lot uh, here in terms of being able to balance male and feminine energy, being able to balance sun and moon energy, being able to create and to be able to um, earn from your creations. So if you are somebody who is an aspiring artist or somebody who has something to offer, you know, that comes from your own being, uh, you're going to find that this week you, it's going to be easier for you to turn it into into uh, money it's going to be easy for you to translate it into um, money because it's going to be um, easier for you to sell it or easier for you to market it or, or easier for you to, to put it on display so that others can also see it so as you go along in this week I think the one thing to take away from it is that uh, it take moments take time out to explore the world from a different perspective and to feel something that's more tender and more pure inside of you to feel raw emotions than you normally would feel and you're not just um, surviving this week you're not just creating and, and doing what you need to do in order to to live but you are feeling something at a far greater depth than you have previously and I feel that this is a week where you could actually use all of this energy to track um, a new path for your life and and also to create something new perhaps a shop or or something um, much newer where you're able to have the courage to do something that you might have put away previously or you might have um left to the wayside and thinking that it would not be successful or you don't have the courage to do it or it's not it's just not your thing to do i think that this week is a week in which you can bring out some of those old projects or some of those old ideas and actually breathe some life into them all right so i'm gonna leave you with that and i hope that you have a really productive week according to this energy here it looks like you're going to have an amazing week and you can produce quite a lot from it and I think that that is not guaranteed um, it's, it's up to you to be able to take that plunge it's up to you to be able to walk that path and to choose to walk that path uh, and so but that is what is available for you in this week all right so uh, good luck to all of those of you who've chosen the option number one I hope you have a fabulous week many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen the light here which is this section option we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? Wow, uh, so this is the uh, same card that came out for the first option. And so I would suggest to some of you who feel drawn to it, go back and listen to the first option. But here's the reading for you, for those of you who've chosen the second option. So the card we have here is Innocence. And I'm going to try and channel a message that is um, for you specifically, as opposed to for what I read for the option number one. So I feel here in your case, there is abundance and uh, prosperity all around you. But it's almost as if that you've blocked it off from you. It's almost as if you've created this wall around you and you stay within this context of, um, yeah, within this context of what it is that you believe to be true for you only. And within this context, within this um, this barrier that you've built for yourself, within this cage or this compound that you've 
you've built for yourself. You are quite fruitful. You are quite courageous. You have a lot going for you. You have a lot uh, that you're creating. And this uh, barrier that you've created for yourself allows you to be able to do that. But there's still more. Um, there's still more outside of you. And it's almost as if uh, they are saying, well, if you have to uh, allow this this cage that you've placed yourself in to be a bit more porous, to be uh, blended somehow into reality so that a little bit more of what is outside of you can come into your life and uh, and uh, what you have created and what you have done can, or what is you, what, what you represent can reach the outside world, then what's going to happen is that you're going to find your experience to be much richer and much more fulfilling and far more vibrant. There's a sense here that you have quite a lot of knowledge and uh, understanding of the world as it is. And you have a lot uh, that is uniquely yours that no one else has and that you're holding it quite close to you. It's like you have your cards quite close to your chest. And what you need to do is to be able to share more of that and to be able to allow a free flow of ideas outside of you and outside of this um this compound or this cage that you've placed yourself in to be able to interact with ideas that are beyond yours and outside of yours to be able to create something that is far more interesting in nature and um, almost has an an alchemical value to it. It's, it's talking here about allowing new prosperity to come in your life because somehow on some level it's as if you're not allowing prosperity to come into your life or new prosperity. So I feel like you have a great deal already. You have um, quite a lot of value uh, in your life as it is, but you could have more value in your life. And it, and the way to allow this into your life is not to... Um, to keep your boundaries too strict, not to have this very clear, very uh, precise understanding of who you are, but to allow your identity to um, flow, to be um, re-explored, to be redefined. I feel that while you might have the protection of this barrier that you've created for yourself, while you might have this protection of keeping yourself safe within a particular context, there's much more outside of you that needs to be explored and can be explored. And it's safe to do that. Um, the, the message here, it's safe to do that. And there's, it's almost as if you need to now escape. You need to now step outside of your boundaries. It's like you have a wall all around you and if you just let these walls drop, you can walk over them. And when you when you come to the other side, you're going to find that things are not as bad as you thought they were. Or um, you're able to experience much more from that. You're able to gain a lot more from that experience. Now, I'm speaking here in quite an abstract uh, sense. But I think how it applies in your life is that... Um, you might not be allowing abundance in your life or some kind of value in terms of relationships into your life because you may be afraid or you might have closed yourself off or created a kind of um, a safe space for yourself. And if you continue to do that, what you're going to be doing is missing out on uh, on what is available to you and what is what is, how your life could be enriched and how your life could have more value as a result of perhaps uh, others contributions but also because of uh, the environment and what the world has to offer you in general so I think that this week this card here is talking about being able to step outside of the the boundaries that you've created for yourself the barriers that you've created in yourself and to be able to explore new to look at what is beyond your own expression and see what else is awaiting you and how you can fit into that or how that can fit into your world there's also a sense here that um you don't need, you're not going to be losing anything if you do this. You can only gain. This this card is only about gain. The, the caption of this card is innocence. And I feel here that uh, the card is talking about being able to come back to your innocence, being able to actually uh, revert to a space where you could look upon things with innocence and not be too cynical, not be too afraid, not be uh, protecting yourself because you need to to do so I feel here that there's another uh, thing that comes up and it's almost like you need to re 
uh, define all the beliefs that you have, to look at the beliefs that you have about yourself and about the world and understand why you have those beliefs. How have they been informed and how is it that you have come to those beliefs at all? Is it something that has been a result of some kind of uh, propaganda or some kind of brainwashing which has led you to be thinking the way that you are thinking and perhaps it's just a matter of you asking yourself is this truly what I believe is this truly what my soul says and what do I really think of these things what is my opinion on this matter and I feel that in order to be able to uh, to think these thoughts to be able to uh, have these thoughts and to go in this direction that you're going to need to uh, access some of your innocence or you need to at least allow yourself to be able to go back um, to your innocence. There's a sense here that you can do anything and everything and that it's really an amazing time for you to be able to create in your life and to compound things, to um, make things more possible and what it was not possible previously has now become possible. So look at what has been stuck for a long time in your life and look at where it is that you can uh, have movement in those areas. And I feel that more than anything here, it is required for you to be able to take that decision that you um, are choosing not to be stubborn. You're choosing not to be uh, fixed in your ideas, but to be more fluid in your ideas. All right. And I feel that um, there is quite a lot to be gained from all of this. So either way, there's quite a lot to be gained. But, you know, even if you don't change anything, you're still going to be gaining. But they're talking about the world beyond you. And in terms of ideas and in terms of um, being able to come beyond yourself in order to experience more. So it's it's almost as if... You know, in the previous reading, when I read the same card for the option number one, it was talking about an inner experience. But for you, it feels it's not an inner experience. It feels like it's just about you being able to explore outside of yourself, to expand your 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 consciousness, to expand your your experience with life, with people, with the environment, with with the world beyond you, and to be able to let your guard down a little bit in order to be able to do that and let yourself be redefined from your experience rather than. And, um, be sitting with fixed ideas all right so um yeah so that is your reading for today and i hope that it benefits you in some ways i think it's been quite you know quite a lot of different ideas in there so take what resonates with you and just leave the rest behind and um it feels to me like this is a kind of reading where you might want to um just put in your um, watch later kind of uh, playlist or of, of file and come back and, and review this in a couple of months from now because you might find that it has a, a new meaning for you then as well all right so good luck with that and uh, many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen this rose quartz here and this is the temple of rose quartz we're asking the question what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is your weekly oracle card guidance So we have the card strength here for those of you who've chosen the option number three and we have a couple of dates we have june 10th and we have july 7th and we have oak tree and we have strength so it's really interesting i don't know if any of those dates really apply to you or really have any significance to you but perhaps you want to just note that for the following year for you because it might be of some significance in the next next year or in the upcoming from whenever you watch this uh, perhaps it, it has some significance for you at the next time. You may also look back at your calendar um, and think about what happened on the on June 10th this year or on July uh, 7th this year or the previous year, depending on when you watch this reading. I feel here that um, more than anything, the card strength tells us everything we need to know about this card. But strength here is not only in terms of physical strength. It's not about um, having the strength that is uh, of within you where you think that you're strong because you're able to have uh, good boundaries or you think you're strong because you, you don't react emotionally to a particular uh, situation. You're not moved that easily um, because you do not sway uh, in 
like in the way that an oak tree doesn't sway. I feel that the meaning here is beyond that. Perhaps uh, that there is a semblance of that, but I feel that the meaning here is beyond that. I feel here that strength in this card is talking about your longevity. It's talking about your resilience. It's talking about your resolve. It's talking about being fixed in a, on a particular idea and, and taking it um, to its full length, you know, and if you've been a bit indecisive or if you've been unsure about the direction that you need to take and uh, you are still coming to a decision, the, the the message here for you is that you need to consider something that, you, that you're going to be able to stick with for a long, long time, that you're going to be able to commit to and stick to for a very long period of time. And I think that is the most important message here in this in this reading for those of you who that doesn't resonate with i think that um the the other messages here are talking about being able to understand strength not just in terms of your own well-being and in your own sense but also in terms of how you interact with the world and how you engage with the world have you when you are engaging with the world are you coming from a place of strength or you're coming from a, in a place from a place of fear when you're engaging with your ideas about the world are you coming from a place of strength or you are you coming from a place of fear because strength in a way is a it's a form of love it's a form of understanding of knowingness that is uh, that allows you to have the strength and if you are guided in your life by fear by what it, what what can control you then you lose your control at that moment then you've lost already your control and so i feel that this card here is talking about you know uh, uh, looking asking you to look at yourself and say hey where is it that i'm in control of my life and where is it that i have the strength to be able to do that and what is it that i believe about my life or about my situation that ultimately is disempowering me because it's fueled my fear and so take a moment to look at uh, where in your life, it, you know, you are guided by fear, you are led by fear, you're making decisions because you're afraid, uh, or because fear has been instilled upon you. And, um, and gently tackle that gently, very gently, very nurt with a very much of a nurturing um, um, approach, allow yourself to, to look at that and to replace that understanding with that of strength and to be able to move ahead knowing that you have strength that is actually um, at the basis of your being of your experience in this world I feel here that it would also benefit you at this point to do meditations or to do some kind of work which allows you to uh, access your strength to be able to access uh, that part of you which is unswaying which is um, completely rooted and completely um, connected and and in touch with a grounded energy and earth energy it's almost as if you've arrived you know when I look at this card it's like there's a sense that you've arrived that you know who you are that you know your scent a sense you have a sense of who you are you have the strength that embodies who you are and you can use this this at this moment to define your world as you go along and to define how it is that you you continue in this world i feel here that um having a very clear sense of who you are having a clear sense of what your work or what your your experience on this world uh, requires of you and being committed to that is the ultimate show of strength um, during this week. And so I think as you go along in this week, take that with you. I think that this week might be a good week in terms of prayer, in terms of being able to um, access or dabble with institutionalized prayer. You might find that uh, it gives you peace. It gives you some kind of access or um, a sense of privilege that you need right now in your life and uh, it's almost you know privilege is not uh, necessarily a negative thing in fact it's a very positive thing it's just that it's been used in a negative context over the years but um, I feel like there's a great deal of privilege to actually be gained here by uh, by prayer and by 
um, institutionalized religion by accessing that which appeals to you from uh, institutionalized religion. And, and so perhaps this is a week where you may be guided to go to a temple or church or synagogue or, or do something like that. Um, it might be uh, also a week where you can find your strength in understanding who you are and where you come from and what is your ancestry. It could be um, a week where you, you you gain strength from looking at your roots and where your your line, your ancestral line has come from and how long and how far you've traveled back. So I think that this is a really interesting week for you because you actually in a space where it looks like you don't really need anything or you don't really um you don't really want anything but you've arrived and you are at the space where you can simply go forth with the strength that you already have and to just be able to weed out any kind of fear that guides you in your life and to be able to go ahead and and also then to have the strength and the time and the willingness to be able to acknowledge your past and to be able to acknowledge the ancestral line from which you've come from and um i think that uh, to do so here and to do so tenderly is actually the key all right um so i'm gonna leave you at that and um yeah i wish you a very very good week it looks like it's going to be an interesting week for you and many many blessings um from me to you so thank you all for um coming by today and for uh listening to this um to this reading if you're still here listening to this i ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, please like and comment the video if you liked it and if you have something to say all right wishing you much love and blessings abound from kissing rising